eventually Emma did see him and he was whining after them, but you know, nothing happened. He didn't uh, manage to pull me into the ditch somewhere or anything like that. It was fine, but it was a little silly. So the deer were very cute. For what it's worth, the deer were very, very cute. And at first when, you know, the first one came out of the bushes, the first one was a little smaller, so I just thought it was like a really humongous hair, because I just kind of saw the, you know, the outline. It looked a little bit like hair with the, with the way the, uh, the legs were when it came out of the bushes. We haven't seen a fox here recently, though. Every now and then there's also a fox going over the... Over the street. It feels like more so whenever I'm walking the dogs alone. <laughs> there's all kinds of critters just crossing the streets then. Ready to get Emma's uh, hunting instinct awo awoken, I suppose. And also cats. There's a lot of cats that are just freely roaming in the neighborhood. Which uh, supposedly they shouldn't be even be allowed to, but they, you know, they still do. And uh, I know of at least four or five different cats that roam around here in the area. It would be kind of nice if, you know, Emma could be taught to not really care about cats because, you know, at my parents' place there is a cat. Uh, my cat, actually. She's a 14-year-old mixed breed. Uh, black and white. I, I raised her from under two weeks old. Everyone, including, you know, my parents was kind of surprised that uh, she even survived to begin with, but... But yeah. She's a very sweet cat, quite drooly. <laughs> like she's the kind of cat that you pet and there's just drops, or not just drops, globs of like drool dripping uh, from her mouth. Which I suppose is mostly just common for cats that have been uh, separated from the mom too early, which under two weeks old, just, you know, for the reference, way too early to separate a cat from the from their mom. Uh, but, you know, uh, with that kitten, the problem was it was um, from a Jehovah's Witness family who, you know, they, they have cats who have kittens pretty often. But they're also the kind of family that, you know, kills off the kittens if they don't get them anywhere. And uh, my cat happened to be the only black and white out of the litter. And um, yeah, I just, I kind of wanted to save her. I think most of that litter actually got adapted, to my knowledge. But yeah, it would just be nice if, you know, the dogs and her got along, or at least if I didn't have to worry that the bigger dog would, you know, eat my cat or something like that. That would be very worrisome. But it's not as easy as, you know, trying to rehome uh, either of them, <laughs> of course, because, you know, the cat has been living there. Um, Almost all her life. The first, you know, under two weeks, not so much. She was under two weeks old after all when she uh, got into my family, but... But otherwise, she's always been there. And she's, you know, getting old. Slow 